Big Freedom Fighters leader Julius Malema has received fierce criticism after chanting, kill the boar, kill the farmer, at the party's anniversary celebrations last weekend. The Democratic Alliance and Freedom Front Plus are now taking action against him. Let's discuss this further now. I'm joined by the leader of Freedom Front Plus, FF Plus, Mr. Peter Krunewald. Mr. Krunewald, good afternoon. Welcome to today and thank you very much uh, for your time. One of the questions I want to begin with is why are you taking legal action when the Equality Court did rule uh, uh, in 2020 that uh, chanting this chant uh, does not incite violence or, or hateful behavior? We must distinguish. We have two processes here. The one, of course, is the Human Rights Commission, which then uh, referred it uh, to the Equality Court, and as you said, in August, uh, actually last year, it dis, uh, made a decision that it is not hate speech. And that is taken on uh, appeal. And that uh, case will be dealt with by the 4th of September by Afri Forum's uh, application. But so, the Freedom Front Plus... Yeah, sorry. So you're still waiting for the appeal to be heard in September. Uh, that has been taken by the lobby group Afri Correct. Forum in court. So why wait for that? Why have an extra legal uh, process now that you are doing? I don't know if you are together with the DA or you are on your own as the FF+. Plus. No, we're on our own. But what I wanted to say, that was one part. What we did, we also laid a criminal charge uh, in terms of the Riotous Act that states it very clearly that nobody is allowed to instigate violence. So that's a difference from our view. We know that we have to wait, but it doesn't matter. We still uh, made an application and laid a charge with the Human Rights Commission because we must keep up the pressure. But the difference is, is that we also have a criminal charge in terms of the Rioters Act. OK, so the criminal charge, when will that be heard? Well, of course, there must be first now be an investigation by the police. The charge had been laid uh, yesterday. Now they must investigate. And it is a process uh, like in each and every criminal, uh, can I say, okay. offence. And then they must uh, compile a document or a doc, docket. And then it must be referred to the National Prosecuting Authority who must make a decision uh, whether they're going to prosecute or not. So you, as the Freedom Front Plus, are laying a criminal charge and you are waiting for the investigation to take place and you'll be looking forward to some form of, uh, of prosecution. Now, there are many freedom songs that were sung that are no longer sung, and some of them were as direct as this one, Kill the Boer, Kill the Farmer. An equality court, a court has ruled that it's not inciting any uh, hate or, or violent behavior. It is not hate speech. What about it that really uh, uh, concerns you, that bothers you? Okay, what bothers me that with the Kill the Boer, Kill the Former song, uh, he also said a shoot to kill. We mustn't remember or forget about the shoot to kill. Now, the problem is, and that's a problem we have in the Freedom Front Plus, we see it as instigating violence, especially when you move to four murders. There were cases where it is quite clear that they wrote on the wall after they have murdered the farmer and uh, his family and saying uh, it is because of apartheid, uh, we have to kill the whites. Uh, there are certain cases. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a proper case besides these to say that there is a link, but there must be no doubt yeah. to instigate to instigate people to say kill the boer, kill the farmer. Not everyone. And if I look at the people there, it's young people. You know, they were not even born. Some of them before 1994. Now, why do we have to keep on with that? It's creating division in South Africa, and we must make a decision in South Africa. Do we taking uh, South Africa forward, united, like the preamble of the Constitution determines, united in our diversity, or are we going to allow political parties like the EFF to raise and enhance the vision in South Africa? Because 
Uh, it is clear that it refers to white people. The Boers are generally known internationally. If you talk about Boers, you talk about the white people. Now, the question is quite simple. Yeah. If I have to hear all the time from a political leader singing songs, that it was, as you said, a freedom song, but they are free now. Uh, why do we have to keep on okay. with that? So the freedom the, is yeah, there. Yeah, the other point is you've mentioned earlier, I'm not aware of any evidence that links the singing of this song, even historically, even recently, to farm murders. That people, after they sing the song, or somebody chants it, then they go and kill farmers. I'm not aware of the link. Do you have any evidence that points to such a link? Well, as I said, there was uh, a previous case where it was written on the wall. And yes, I did say it's scientifically not easy to make that link. But the problem is it's not easy to prove that. But... I also want to say, and that is what it is, if you look at the definition of hate speech in the Constitution, Section 16, then as far as I'm concerned, uh, it is hate speech, but, okay, the Equality Court made a decision. So we will have to wait for the Court of Appeal, and even after that, maybe even the Constitutional Court, we will have the final say in the matter. So let's see what happens from that. But what I can assure you is that specifically white people in South Africa feels that they are threatened by this song. And whether it is still seen as uh, it's nothing wrong with it, I can assure you it is creating division. And, and why must we create decision? Uh, if I start a song suddenly and start singing, kill the blacks, uh, but, in South but, Africa. but that would be different, uh, Dr. Kuneva. That would be different if you started today under the circumstances where we are trying to build, as you said, a united diversity country where everybody feels included. If you started a song like that today, I guess you'll be arrested. It's different. Exactly. It's, yeah, but it's different from Kill the Farmer, Kill the Boer song, which has its roots during the anti apartheid movement. So I don't think the, there are similarities there. Okay, so. Okay, okay, you don't see similarities there. But so what you say, as long as the song was sung before 1994, it's fine. It's accepted. No, no uh, I'm not. So people I'm, don't I'm, have to. Feel no, I, I'm not saying that. I said if you started a song today, and and you were advocating for any segment of South Africa's population to be killed, you would be arrested. This song has its roots. The freedom song has its roots from old days and the argument was made in the equality court and didn't find it to be equal to hate speech that's the point i'm trying to make okay the point you're making is that uh, it was uh, before 1994. i can assure you that the utterance of shoot to kill was not before 1994. that's also a new a version and a new phrase he is putting in shoot to kill who that must be shot or shot to be killed. And so what Malema did, he must use then, taking your argument of a song before 1994, and now he's adding a new part of it, and that is shoot to kill. Uh, I think any rational person will understand that the link between shoot to kill and the link with kill the word, kill the farmer, uh, leaves no doubt that it means uh, that let's shoot to kill actually the Boers. Okay. F finally, I mean, we have elections coming up next year. I haven't had an opportunity to ask you earlier. As we conclude, uh, Dr. Grunewald, there's a talk of coalitions and stuff. One would guess from your answer and your actions that you would never work with, uh, be in a coalition with the EFF, for example, if it came to that. No. I am on record, you're correct. Uh, uh, the Freedom Front Plus will not be part of any coalition where the EFF is part of that coalition. I okay. can uh, confirm that by very clearly. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what your criminal charge that you've laid, that process, how long it takes and what's going to happen. And as you said, there is that uh, appeal that is pending in September. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon on Today on ENCA. Dr. Uh, Peter Grunewald, he's the leader of the Freedom Front Plus.